Welcome to Brewer, a picturesque, tranquil town in the heart of the Welsh Valleys. Brewer, once a major supplier of the world's coal, is soon to be the site of Great Britain's first nuclear power station, heralding a new age of clean, cheap energy for the day-to-day -day needs of our modern lives. The new power plant will also provide work and prosperity for the local community. For the people of Brewer, the future has never looked brighter. Good afternoon. I am Melvin Chesson. We're here in the Welsh Valleys, just outside the town of Brewer. 25 years ago to the day, this area was the site of the worst nuclear accident this country has ever known, as the local power plant went into unexpected meltdown. The nearby communities were evacuated immediately, and the whole valley has been cut off and deemed unsafe ever since. And yet, to this day, Nobody knows exactly what caused the accident, and recently rumours have begun to arise that the town is home to survivors from the explosion and the nuclear fallout. Now, today, on the anniversary of... Uh... Uh, uh, um, th 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 this is our guide, Lurch. He has been visiting the area for the last four years, since the radiation levels have dropped. Um, Lurch! Would you care to explain? Yes, it's perfectly safe now. Radiation levels have all dropped. But you can come, look, see, visit. But not to live, do you understand? Yes, the radiation levels would still be harmful if you were exposed too much. Yes, yes, but I have Geiger counter. So you will be perfectly safe. It's okay, I fixed it now. Yes, yeah, very uh, reassuring. And uh, what of the rumours of these survivors still living in the uh, lurch? Lurch? Did you see that? He had a gun. I don't know what to do. What do you, what do you think we should do? Should we uh, follow him? Yeah? Yeah? I, I don't know the way back to the jeep from here, do you? I mean, I don't know. Um, okay, okay. We, uh, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Let's follow him. There's something down here. I can hear music. I think it's a pub. Hello. I'm uh, Melvin Chesson. We're doing a documentary on the area. Oh, that's nice. Ain't that nice? Yeah. We don't get uh, TV from outside the valley, eh? on account of all the radiation interfering with the signals and whatnot. So we make do and make our own telly. Interesting. What sort of shows do you have here? Porn, mostly. But we also have the weather. Our Molly hosts it. Lovely girl. None too bright, but she's got a crack in set of countenance. And no one has suffered any negative side effects from the uh, nuclear fallout? None whatsoever. What about that guy? 
Mind if I take a sip? No problem. I'm Gary Segal. Nice to meet you. Oh, as in uh, Stephen. No, just Gary. Fair enough. Do you mind if I ask how the nuclear explosion affected you? No problem. I was working my normal Friday morning shift. It was warm days, I remember. So I opened up the window, and in flew this big grinning seagull, shitting everywhere it was. So I went to grab a broom, and boom! The explosion? Exactly. So that's what caused the meltdown. You don't like to point fingers around here, mister. We're all in this together. I'm sorry, I just meant... Maybe it was a seagull bashing into all the buttons that caused the explosion. Maybe it was when it shattered all over the control console. Maybe it was when I tried to bash the sodding bird's brain in. I don't know. I'm not a psychic. That's our Audrey. One thing I do know, people in cardboard boxes shouldn't throw water balloons. <coughs> you have a, um, a wing because of the seagull. Uh, does this mean... You, you can fly? I wanna fly, I wanna fly, I wanna fly, I wanna fly! Another ah! ah! point of Quimbleade? So, how are you, horsewhip? How are you, boy? Well, how are you? Now? Is your bike filler? No. Well, he was up the top 20. Up them bike there, like he normally is on a Friday. Sorting the bales out. Steering the Massey Fergie down the bank. Not the John Deere, then? No, Massey. Well, he's gone and bloody toppled over. Gone flying. Sheep are being squashed. Well, you know yourself, he's a big fella. Hands on barbed wire. Took his head straight off. Clean as a whistle. You know what happened next, though? Goes back home, finds his old Sally Army kit, gets his Vietnamese wife to sew it straight back on. Back in work the Monday. Vicky? Vicky? Would you like some jam on your toast? Jam? Are you mad, woman? I was in Nam. We didn't eat no jam in Nam. Tony Daddy! <laughs> I saw women and children burnt alive. Them screens will haunt me forever. Shop and picnic! Them choppers whiz past my head every waking moment. Perry grows! <laughs> and you, woman. Want to know if I want jam on my toast? Fuck, woman! So that's a definite no, then, Vicky. Hell, woman! Jam would be lovely. Can I get a glass of milk too, please, Mummy? No signal. I don't understand where you could have gotten to. Give me that back! Hey, excuse me, I haven't seen a man with. Uh, can't you see I'm busy, mate? Our Molly's on the goggle box. Oh, right, the uh, local weather presenter you mentioned. Hi. Hi, I'm Molly Hill. Hello, Molly. 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 Hello, Coming up is your five-day weather forecast. But first, let's have a check on what the weather is doing right now. It's fucking grim. You name it. Rain, sleet, dogs, frogs and piss. It's shitting it down. So get your beavers indoors, cos it's damn cold. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a dinosaur. <laughs> now that is funny. You mean let me understand this? Because maybe it's me. Maybe I'm a little fucked up, maybe. Yes, I'm a fucking dinosaur. But how am I funny? Funny like I'm a fucking baby giraffe? I amuse you. I make you laugh. 
I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Well, I, I just... Look at my friend Tommy here. Now imagine him doing press-ups. Tommy, get down and give me ten. <laughs> now that's funny. So stop busting my balls, tough guy. Because I am the fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. And don't you ever forget that. I don't understand. I've only had a couple of pints and yet I feel completely pissed. Ah, it's just the radiation. You'll be fine in a couple of days. It's just your body getting used to it. No, okay. Either that, or you'll bleed out from your eyes and penis until there's nothing left. And then you'll keel over, spitting green pus. Nut? Do you serve food? Aye. We serve chicken and chips. Three pieces, please. Is that five pieces or six pieces? I said three pieces, please. Not four pieces, not six pieces, but five pieces of chicken coming right up. She thinks he wants soggy butter. Shall we ask him? Aye. With your five pieces of chicken, would you like soggy butter? Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. I've never been able to make crispy butter. The oil gets far too wet. Yeah. Oh, Patrick, Patrick Swayze, Christoph, ask them on yourself. Oh, um, did you want chicken wings, chicken legs, or chicken arms? You have chicken arms? No, but I've lost a lot of weight recently. I've been been poorly. Still itches like. No, I mean, the chickens don't normally have arms. Oh, um. My bad. The chicken penises. Perfect. Special. All right, my name's Samosa, Carl Samosa. I'm from Tonopandi. Today I wanted to talk to you about myself, and in particular tuna. I'll start off by telling you about my day. This morning I made a list of things I needed to do. First was to apply for a job. I'd done that, for to be a fishmonger. As if I get it, I can catch raw fish and eat it every day like they do in Japanese. That's not racist, is it? Next on the list was to quit smoking. I'd done that so I can tick it off. Next, eat tuna. I love tuna more than I love anything. Even God or Buddha or that elephant guy with eight arms or something. I eat tuna raw as a steak with vegetables, but my favorite is out of the can. I even eat tuna in the shower, out of the can with a fork. That's my best. Up next, I'm hiding a courgette. Find out where. Please, uh, sit down. Hi, I'm Trixie. Yeah. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm Melvin Chesson. I know. You're filming. You know, 
My mother always said I could be in movies. I even played Mary at the Nativity. When you were a child? No, last month. Oh, right. So, um, <coughs> Trixie, what do you do for a living? I'm the town prostitute. I see. <coughs> and you're the only, um, only, only, uh, <coughs> sex worker in Brewer? Well, I guess there's Mavis, but she caters for a more niche market. Well, hello, big boy. My, you're gorgeous. If you buy me a drink. I might show you my knickers. Yes, you're, you're a very attractive woman, and it's a, a tempting offer. But, um, Oh, don't worry, but she can get us both in a gob, no problem. <laughs> See? Dear British Bulldog, please forgive us. We're an absolute bloody joke. We were in the brewers last night. I was wearing a girl's wig. People were laughing at us and everything. We're just an absolute embarrassment. Mum's upset. She's taken all our marbles off us. Even the kingy that we won last night. She stopped us earlier, halfway through a game of Denno. We're not allowed to watch Saved by the Bell anymore. She's banned us from watching the Wonder Years. Dad's been cool, though. He caught us wanking over Funhouse earlier. Gave a little wink and everything. Dear British Bulldog, Please fix it so that we can be with the twins from Funhouse forever. I'll have Martina. Kenny can have Melanie. Keep Pat Sharp away, though. He looks like he might do nasty things and forget to cuddle. The twins deserve someone who will treat them like princesses. Yours forever, the Seabiscuit Brothers. Do you think you do? Hey. Why you look so sad? Hey. It's a 